How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh Gay, the Lonely Hero, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke, the final, final step in our Gen Sweep. It is here, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially in Galar. I've been promising it for so long, and finally, we are doing it. Uh, I skipped a little part. I picked my character. I picked my name and all that, so we're just going to sit right here. Um, yeah, today, this is it. We're starting off with Galar. This is our very first episode, but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are subscribed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description, Twitter, and Instagram, we're both at HermitLonely underscore also check out the playlisting for our last series the ultra sun randomized nuzlocke it's gonna be here for this whole week uh so i'll keep it promoting there uh as well as checking out the ebl of course the elite battle league go check out all the other coaches go check out all the good stuff ellie inferno will be coming on october 2nd to bring some live action battles to your to your screens uh also merch merch link is down below as well we greatly appreciate if you guys can check that out but here we go. <laughs> this is the final step in our gen sweep. Like, as uh, did I say that? I don't know if I said that. This is the final step in our gen sweep. I'm super pumped. Uh, it is a normal Nuzlocke. I didn't test whether I could go online or not, even though this is my alt account. But uh, we're just going to leave it at that. We're just going to leave it as is. Um, if it, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to leave it as is. Um, I guess uh, when it comes to the uh, Nuzlocke rules, you guys should know by now if you've been watching the channel for as long. Uh, as I've been going, it's it's pretty basic. Uh, if Pokemon faints, they are considered dead. On my channel, they're just not here. They're not dead. They're just not here. Um, you can only get one encounter per named area. Um, what else? What else? You have to nickname every Pokemon. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, there are going to be certain exceptions to the rules. Um, raids are going to be an exception for me personally. Um, I'm going to make that a rule for myself that if we die in a raid, I'm not going to count that. Because most of that is going to be off screen grinding to get us leveled up and stuff. Because uh, in this game, we don't have, we can't gen in rare candies or, or legitimately earn rare candies, sorry. Uh, we also can't fast forward. So I have to use raids as the best, because it's the best way of grinding in like across like almost all the Pokemon games pretty much. Um, it's like one of the best ways, period. Uh, so that's uh, that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to grind up with that. Uh, meaning, if Pokemon die in raids, Pokemon die in raids, we're gonna put in like a, I, guess, I guess technically it would be a grinding clause. But I mean, raids can can be difficult, especially early on. So I'm not really gonna count them too much. Uh, Pokemon Sword, let's go. Um, wait, no, wrong game. This Pokemon Sword, not let's go. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> but we are, yeah. So that that's that's one of my rules I'm gonna be putting in. Uh, also, when we get encounters. I'm just gonna close my eyes and run into the grass. I'm just, that's all I'm gonna do. That's the only way I can try and make it as fair as possible. Because if I keep my eyes open, I can pick whatever Pokemon I want. Uh, but if I just close, I'm gonna go to a point where I can't see any Pokemon in the grass. Make sure that it's just a straight so shot. So all I have to do is like click right, um, and I'll go into the grass and then close my eyes and go. So that's how we're gonna handle encounters. Because obviously, it's not randomized, but swords, it, sword and shield are very diverse games when it comes to the Pokemon, especially in the wild area. Um, oh, that's another rule we're gonna implement as well. If we fire, if you run into a Pokemon that's like 10 levels above us, we're not gonna count it if we get wiped because that's uh, sometimes it's by accident. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just you just veer off. Plus, we're dealing with this crappy controller, so uh, <laughs> so unfortunately, sometimes it might make us uh, divert and go the wrong way. Um, not always, because I know drifting doesn't always do that when it comes to these these games, uh, but. If it just so happens that we accidentally run into a Pokemon that's 20 levels above us, if especially if it says a very strong looking Pokemon, that's the telltale sign that it's too strong. Um, because you can't even catch it, even if you wanted to. So we're not gonna count those either if we get wiped. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to avoid them, obviously, to avoid that sort of conflict. But if it happens, we're just gonna I'm just gonna say that now. So now there's nothing, no, no controversy later. Um but yeah, we're on the Switch finally. This is weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing all the other ones with the next box controller. So doing it with a Switch controller is very different and weird. And, and yeah, <laughs> so it's a uh, fun, uh, fun, 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 fun to say the least. Um, we are getting into um, Gen 8 here. So we're, we're gonna be running into some Gen 8 mons, obviously. There's a lot of Gen 8 mons in the wild in this game. Um, the good part is too, is if I need to trade or something, I have, Carlos so I can if we do get a Pokemon that needs a trade uh, thankfully I can just you know uh, ask him and we can trade uh, to evolve it so there's no worries there when it comes to that um, what else 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 I don't think there's anything else I think that's about it yeah I think that's about it um, like I said if 
if the series is still going by the end of this month uh, no mm. at some point during the series i'm going to tease the next series because i have it ready um, I have it ready. I haven't randomized the ROM yet, but I know what my next series is going to be. It's not that it's ready. I know what my next series is going to be. I have the logo, the layout almost done. I'm still tweaking it. Um, I have the intro for this series done. That's new. That's going to be new to the channel. We're becoming with intros. Ah, what? Um, so say bye to Infinite for now. Um, not Maybe not for all series, for, but for, for at least my solo series from now on. I'm going to try to make intros for all of them. Um, maybe we'll make the intro, the infinite intro, a gen sweep exclusive. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll make one in the future. That's, that's a, a better version. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, another big decision we have to make here is which starter we are going to pick. Uh, I feel like in this game, you can find a good amount of Pokemon from all three types, especially water. Cause obviously water types are everywhere. Um, Especially in Holberry. In Holberry, you can fish, and every Pokemon in there is pretty viable that you can fish up. Uh, so there's those. I'm trying to think of fire types. It'd be just Score Bunny, not Score Bunny. Duh. It'd be like, our, uh, oh my god, Growlithe. I feel like a lot of fire types are pretty rare until you get to Moto Stoke. The, what's his name? Ha ha, uh, Hapu? No, that's, that's from the last game. What is his name? The old guy, the fire type gym leader. I'm totally blanking on his name. His gym uh, has three fire types in there. Sizzlipede, Litwick, and I think Growlithe or Vulpix, depending on what game you're on. I think it changes. Um, but there's those. I might take score money because I feel like fire types will become will come the least because you can find a fair few grass types in uh, in the wild areas. So we don't really, I, I, my personal favorite is Rillaboom, but for the sake of type, type advantage and like having a proper fire type, um, I'm probably gonna go with Scorbunny. I'm not really Team Scorbunny. I'm Team Grookey, but I think Sobble for me personally, like taking a Water type as your starter is probably like one of the least best things to do. Uh, that made no sense because there's just a ton of Water types. Like you, you're definitely gonna run into a Water type at some point. Point is, you're, you're definitely gonna run into a Water type at some point. Is it gonna be a good one? Maybe not, but. But I mean, you're gonna run into a water type at some point. You're probably gonna run into multiple water types uh, at some point. Every there's so many routes to have fishing, and you, yeah, you don't need to. You don't really need to take a water type starter because more than likely they're gonna run into like ten water types during your playthrough. So I personally don't think it's 100% necessary. Um, even at randomizers, it's like 50%. It's it's not really 50%, but like 50% of the Pokedex is all water types. It's crazy how many water types are in the Pokedex. Like it's crazy. I think it's actually more realistically speaking. I think it's like a third. I think it's like a third of the Pokedex is water type. Like, crazy. Um, but, yeah, so I, I think we're going to roll with Scorbunny here. Point is, <laughs> Cinderace, because, I, like, anime Cinderace I like, but game Cinderace, I'm not crazy about. Even Inteleon. I do think that these three are, like, probably my... F mm, up there as my favorite first form starters. Like, these three. Scorbunny, Sobble, and Grookey. Because I really like them. I don't know, it's because they have personality because they actually got like a cutscene. Um, but the, uh, yeah, these are probably, probably top three of my favorite uh, first form starters. Not quite my favorite, like, final form. Um, not quite. Not quite. Because Inteleon, I'm so, I'm so back and forth with Inteleon. I'm just like, do I like it? Do I not? And right now, I'm kind of like on the nah side. Uh, same with Score Bunny and well, Cinderace specifically. I'm kind of like, mm. Rillaboom has been up there for me the whole time. I, I like Rillaboom, but the other two, mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. But enough with that. Let's get our starter here. Let us get our starter. Uh, I like how I abandoned the alliteration thing. <laughs> I forgot. I genuinely forgot about picking our starters. Or did I? No, wait. No, I did. Sorry, direct a small lot. Gen 6 was... Who's our starter in Gen 6? Who's our starter in X? I don't remember. Uh, we're gonna name you... Uh... Uh... Oh, jeez. Um... Uh, uh... Wait, you turn into a, a soccer or a football player. Uh... Let's name me Alex. Alex Morgan. She's a beast. She's great. She scored a hat-trick the other day against Paraguay. Pretty good. 
<laughs> we'll name her we'll name her Alex since it's a female. Alright. Let's go. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's <laughs> let's kick. Oh yeah, it's so this is like the only rival battle I think where the rival starts with two Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. I do like Hop. Hop's probably one of my favorite rivals. He's got a nice arc. He's got a nice arc. He really does. And a lot of people say he, he like gave up, but he really didn't. He was just trying to find himself. It's realistic. It's realistic. It's someone who's going on a journey to find their inner self. And then at the end of it, he becomes a professor. Professor's assistant. That's really cool. And in the DLCs, that carries on too. Like he appears and he's like doing research and stuff. That's really cool. Plus his team is constantly changing because he's trying to figure himself out. So that's even more cool. He's like one of the only rivals where their team like drastically changes. Doo -doo -doo. Alrighty, let's uh, can we progress? I want to get some encounters. I want to get a couple because there's two obviously that we can get. I want to get those two encounters at least. At least the crappy part is is like this. I can't speak through this right now. <laughs> the good part is in Sword and Shield there aren't like a ton of cutscenes. Like the beginning is a little bit cutsceney, quite a bit uh, as you get through the story and stuff. But later on, um, no shoot. Can I? No, I want to battle him. Um, I can't just talk to Hop to battle him, really. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the beginning is a little cutscene. -y. The middle, like it's it, the cutscenes are like very here and there, but a lot of them are like, oh, something bad's happening. Well, let me handle it, and they just let you keep going. I thought that was really cool. I do love Hop's theme, by the way. It's so like cheery, and, and I like it. I love the remix more so, but I think that's probably why I like it so much because of the remix. That's I think it was Glitch City. She did it, of course. She does all she does all the music. She's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's so tempting to just click and, and try to fast forward. <laughs> I literally almost did that a couple times. I almost did that a couple times. Ah, uh, hey Wulu. Wulu, his Wulu is annoying because of how bulky Double can be. That's it. That's it. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward with the battles and stuff. Hop's not the strongest rival, but then again, like, neither was Hal. Gladian, if you consider him a rival, wasn't, like, too strong. Uh, who's in five? Hugh wasn't that strong. Like, to me, the only rivals that were really strong... Well, how was all right in the champion battle, actually. How was all right in the champion battle? But I still say blue is probably the strongest. Blue. Silver was super easy. Super easy. Brendan and May. May would always, you know what, you know what battle would always catch me off guard? Sorry, I'm holding my gum. I don't know why I'm holding gum. I sometimes do that. I just grab stuff off my desk. Uh, the battle in Gen 3 against your rival when you're leaving Slateport. That rival battle would always catch me off guard. I don't know what it, I think it was her whale murder. Normally I played as as a uh, Brendan, so it'd be me. Uh, it'd be her her Wilmer is what normally would get me. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just it just always got me. It always got me. All right, Route One. If we can get, if we can get Rookie D. That's probably that's probably my number one. Corviknight would be insane because Corviknight's really freaking good. Corviknight's really freaking good. Uh, also, what is it? When it comes to statics, we can take statics. Uh, I, I guess I should probably have brought that up. Uh, fossils, uh, I'll leave it up to choice. I get to pick one, but that's it. I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't have to get the free. I think you get Dracozolt for free in this game. Um, so I, I'll, I'll decide if I, or Arctozolt. I think it's, it's one of those two. Um, I'll leave it like as this. So if I get, if I get to, uh, I get to choose, but whatever I choose is the only one I can get. I can't get all four fossil Pokemon. We'll leave it at that. But there's like talks so that we can get. There's, I think there's, is there another stat? There's trades and stuff like that. So there's those two. Anyways. Oh, the slumbering wield has static account. We're going to wait till we can actually go into the slumbering wield to get an encounter. We're not going to count these because these are guaranteed. You're guaranteed. I feel, I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to run into the same Pokemon every time. So we're not going to count these until we can actually like there's Pokemon popping up in the grass. That's when we'll consider it uh, an encounter. 
That's what we'll consider an encounter. Just because I don't want to get a Pokemon that we already know what we're going to get. You know what I mean? That's just me. I don't know. My arms are sore. <laughs> I went to the gym yesterday and I actually worked for the first time in a while and it hurts. It hurts. When I had the fever last week. Was it last week? Was it last week at this point? Jeez. Um, when I had the fever because of the vaccine, everything was sore too. Like it doesn't feel as bad as that. Because that was bad. Like that's kind of normal when you get a fever though. When you get a fever, you're, you get soreness. Your body just feels achy. And yeah, I had I had soreness because I had ran the tread the day before. The treadmill. I guess that's what I, I call it. Tread. I don't know. I'm lazy to say the whole word. Uh, too lazy to say the whole word. Um, my legs were killing me that day. I couldn't even get up. My calves were just. It hurt. At one point, I was like pacing, cause like I didn't want to sit down, cause if I sat down and tried to get up, oh. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. Hurt so much. It hurt, but yeah, right now my arms are a little jelly. It's weird because I did. Not to brag, I did seven miles on the bike in half an hour, which is not bad. It's pretty good. Um, and afterwards, like when we we're leaving the gym, we had to go down the stairs. Me and Carlos went. Um, and my legs just felt like jello. I was like, ah, <laughs> like you're, it felt like they were gonna give out any second. But right now, like they're not even sore, like at all. Period. Like not at all. Um, it's, it's weird that my arms are more sore when I did less with my arms. My, I'm pretty weak. I, I might, I don't know if I look strong. I'm pretty weak. I'm not really a strong person, so doing arm workouts gets me sore. Gets me sore. I feel it all in my chest and here in this area. <laughs> uh but not at all my legs that's what i found really weird like i can like yeah i just i don't really feel in my legs yesterday i did but today i didn't even get a lot of sleep either that's something i need to fix is getting more sleep especially when i go to the gym that's a piece of advice for you guys if you go to the gym you're working out please get some sleep your body needs rest don't try and run on three hours of sleep and be like why am i so sore like me <laughs> It's a piece of advice I always wish I listened to for my mom was taking care of my body. Now I deal with pains all the time. It's great. I'm only 20. <laughs> oh, when you're so stupid as a kid, you don't listen to your parents. There's some situations we're not going to get into that because there's some situations where uh, maybe you shouldn't listen to your parents, but there's a lot of situations where they kind of know more than you. They live a longer life. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this beginning part can take a hot second. I kind of want to skip. I'm not going to lie. We'll, 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 we'll skip ahead after we get through Zacian. We'll, we'll skip ahead a bit. Let's get through Zacian first. Because I do like this part. It's very mysterious. I remember the first time I played this, I was like, what the heck? What the heck? And at the time, I actually didn't know that the, the legendary... Uh, the two dogs didn't even have, um, whatchamacallit, they had like alternate, these forms, the non-rusted sword and shield forms. I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, you know what's really cool? I think it's South Korea, I heard. As a pre-order bonus for, for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, they're getting shiny Zacian or Zamazenta. Like, come on, America, step up. I think we get like a pin or like this notebook or something. I don't want that. I want a shiny. What shiny locked Pokemon? That's bull. That's such bull. I would pre-order it right now. Like I genuinely would. I, I might not have the money for it right now, but I would probably pre-order it right now just to get the shinies, dude. I would. That's awesome. Cause their shinies are nice. Their shinies remind me of uh, Zerneus and Eveltal. <laughs> Zastin and Zamazenta's theme is actually pretty fire. Um. But they're shit, yeah, because Shenny, Xerneas, and Eveltal turn like white, and their primary color is more like accentuated. I like Eveltal's more because I like red more, but uh, that's kind of how Zacian and Zamazenta's shinies look. I think that's really freaking cool. Zygarde as well. Zygarde's shiny is great. That like aqua kind of, um, I guess aqua seafoam green look with the white. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. 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 This is also a very I, I did like really like the start to the game because it wasn't usual hand holding They kind of went into it a little bit and that was very mysterious when I first saw it. I was like, what the hell? 
What the heck? <laughs> what was that? I know it's legendary, but you rarely I feel like you never really run into the legendary that early in the game. Uh like how cool would it have been in Kanto if like uh a pixelated Zapdos or Articuno flew over Route 1 when you're running through? Like you just pause and then all of a sudden like meow, 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 and the bird goes flying by. <laughs> That'd be cool. Like like Ash, like Ash in, in the the original anime when Ho flies by him. Which I always thought was funny. Yeah. Sort of presence. The sucky part is we don't get a bike until after Milo. So I mean it's not that bad actually, now that I think about it. You guys aren't gonna be seeing a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be putting quite a few hours into this game, but you guys aren't gonna be seeing a lot of it. To be 100% honest with you, you're not. Uh, <laughs> you're really not gonna be seeing a whole lot of it. Am I supposed to talk to my mom? I'm, I'm just gonna do it just in case, because I don't wanna have to walk all over there and then it'd be like, eh, yeah, we did, okay. Um, what did I say? Wow, I brain farted so hard right there. Oh my god, that's not the first time. I always do that, get used to it. <laughs> We do start with quite a bit of money. Let, we might drip up a little bit. We might put on a little drip. Maybe. Mm. I mean, I don't mind the red. I don't like the green. I never really liked the starting outfit. Not not a fan. The beanie? Not a fan. Not a fan. The little, like, flannel piece, that green piece underneath? Not a fan. Not a fan. Are you going to teach me how to catch a Pokemon? Because I already know how to do it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Can I walk over there yet? Yes, okay. Okay, eyes closed. Here we go. Oh. I actually recently got a shiny Squalbit when I was EV training for the EBL. Um, but... Mm, mm. I was literally going to say that this is probably one of the least... Like, the one, the one I would have wanted the least from this route. Like, if I was to get a pure normal type from this route, I wanted Wulu. But Rickety was my number one. Thicket, w I mean Thicket, Nicket wouldn't have been bad. Dark type, so it's not bad. Can you get anyone else in this route? I don't think so. You probably can, I'm just not thinking of them. Next route's gonna be interesting because there's like Choodle, Yamper, Rickety, Nicket. There's still Squolvit, but we caught it now, so we don't have to deal with that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh, I didn't. Uh, we can nickname it at the Pokemon Center. Thankfully, there's a name raider everywhere on every Pokemon Center, so we're good there. Um, so yeah, but uh, oh, in the the exclamation point encounter can be. Uh, I think in this game you get C dot. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think I'm right. You can't go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna skip all this because it's just a lot of talk between Leon is isn't it right? It's just a lot of talk between your professor Right 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 Yeah, we're just gonna skip all this. I'll catch you guys when we can get our encounter on the route Actually, I'll catch you guys when we can re-nickname uh, Squalbit. Oh wait, wait Sonya's here Hi Sonya Hi, okay back to the cut. We are here you're going to re-nickname Squolvit to... Oh, I never nicknamed my uh, shiny Squolvit, actually. Um, let's name me Cheeks. Cheeks the Squolvit. He's got some big old puffy cheeks. Cheeks. There you go. Nicely done. No, that's fine. Uh, let's buy some potions. Ah. It'll be very easy to make money in this game, trust me. I'm not gonna try to go overboard with it, but I'm, I'm gonna set myself up, I'm just saying. Uh, cause the wild area has a lot of good stuff for, uh, I didn't mean to buy that many burn hills. But there's, uh, the wild area has a lot of rare stuff that you can sell. A lot of rare stuff you can sell. Yeah, let's get rid of, oh, I only needed like one. That's fine, whatever. May as well buy some more potions, to be honest. Probably like 10 more, may as well. Uh, let's go see some drip drip and then I think we'll end this first episode with a nice encounter I think we'll end it with a nice encounter Uh, we won't do the hot battle just yet I want to get everyone to a decent level first Because I don't want to get someone dead before anything happens Really in the series Um I don't like these 
things. Let's get this black hoodie because that's like something I would definitely wear. Uh, let's skinny trousers. Eesh. <laughs> Not crazy about skinny jeans. Uh, we're definitely gonna get some. Can I get some high socks? Yes. High black socks. Really? No, there's no black socks. Really? Let's buy some red ones then, I guess. Uh, shoes. Let's get some black loafers. There's, yeah, there's no other type of shoes here. And then let's get a white and black bag. Yes. Uh, I need to take off this hat because I'm over it already. Yeah, we're going to take out the hat in, in a bit. Um, got the glasses, of course. We're going to spend all the money now, so no, I don't do it later. Uh, no, let's get rid of these. We'll just keep the jeans, whatever. I do want to take off this freaking hat, though. Take off the hat. Take no, take off the hat. There we go. Cool. We'll figure. Oh, we can't even. Oh no, we can fix our haircut when we get to Moto Stoke. That's what it's called, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, and also from you, I would like some of these, which I actually should have bought in the first place instead of uh, antidotes and paralyzed heels, because this is a very cheap option. I forgot. Not gonna lie, I forgot these are here. Okay. Cool, thank you very much. Alright, let's get our encounter and then we'll call it we'll call the first episode there so that I can get all three of the Pokemon up to a decent level. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll start next episode by taking on Hop. And maybe making it to Milo. We'll kinda get close. I'm gonna skip around a bit with the cutscenes because they're kind of Unnecessary you guys have seen the game by this point. We're just gonna focus mostly on gameplay um, Which actually I think with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and do this I think escape movies for now. Yes We'll go ahead and do that just for the sake of time. So now I don't have to skip around too much. It makes editing easier for me You're gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon this late. Don't do it Yeah, 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 yeah Okay, I would not mind a Tootle. I would not mind a Yamper and I definitely wouldn't mind a Rookity. Those are my top three if we get any of those, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. We can't get Squovit. So I feel like every other option we can get is actually not bad. Nickit's probably the last on my list, but I wouldn't mind it. Um, but the other ones, definitely. Yamper, Toodle, and Rookadia. I literally just said his name. How can I forget? All right. Let's see. We got the exclamation point encounter. Uh, early game C dot is not the best. I, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie to you. Early game C dot is not the best. Early game C dot. Oh wait, no, it has absorbed. Actually, never mind. It could be okay. That was always the biggest problem with C dot is it didn't have an attacking move. I wonder if it'll die to an ember. Can we just try? To, let me just check a pokeball. Let's just check a Pokeball. Puppet returns again. Two. Three. Yay. Thankfully, I don't just have to deal with Bide. That was the problem. Is Cedar always just had Bide until it evolved into Nuzleaf. That's an early evolution as well. It's like level 14 or something like that, right? 13, 14. So we could have a Nuzleaf pretty soon. Uh, this is Puppet. Pulpit. Bam. Bam. Cool. A decent start to the team. Nothing fantastically amazing. Uh, we were that close to getting a Choodle, which I actually would have definitely preferred, but it's okay. It's okay. We got the new and improved C dot. <laughs> we got the Gen 8 C dot, so it's better. It's better than having an earlier game C dot. Um, I know it's kind of ne unnecessary to check their abilities, but uh, I know you can't have your hidden ability. That's impossible. Uh, you got a minus attack nature, which is not fantastic. Uh, you also have a minus attack nature, which isn't super fantastic. Uh, you have chlorophyll. Okay. I don't remember. I think Shiftry is more physical. 
but we're gonna end it right there like i said uh we went ahead and got that encounter so we're gonna call it there that's gonna be it for the first episode of our pokemon sword and nuzlocke if you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new here be sure to see we like and subscribe check out socials in the description twitter and instagram are both at hermit lonely underscore also be sure to check out the merch store down below It'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could check it out no need to purchase anything however it'd be appreciated if you could just take a gander uh also the place link for our last series is down below if you want to go ahead and go see that it was a bit of a doozy uh it was the only series where we lost which is fun um and also get involved in the elite battle league check out all the coaches the la inferno will be coming hot at you in on 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 not in on october 2nd so we'll see you guys then and of course be sure to share your socials with your friends family everyone you know let the people know along the here where it's at we'll see you guys in the next one bye